lawbreakers. For whoever keeps the whole law and yet stumbles at just one point is guilty of breaking all of it. For he who say you shall not commit adultery also say you shall not murder. If you do not commit adultery, but do commit murder, you have become a lawbreaker. Speak and act as those who are going to be judged by the law that gives freedom. Because judgment without mercy will be shown to anyone who has not been merciful. Mercy triumphs over judgment. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save them? Suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to them, Go in peace, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. But someone will say, You have faith. I have deeds. Show me your faith without deeds, and I will show you my faith by my deeds. You believe that there is one God. Good. Even the demons believe that and shudder. You foolish person. Do you want evidence that faith without deeds is useless? Was not our father Abraham considered righteous for what he did? When he offered his son Isaac on the altar, we see that his faith and his actions were working together. And his faith was made complete by what he did. And the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness, and he was called God's friend. We see that the person is considered righteous by what they do, and not by faith alone. In the same way, was not even Rahab, the prostitute, considered righteous for what she did when she gave lodging to the spies and sent them off in a different direction. As the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without the is dead. This is the word of that the Lord bless this reading in our hearts in the name of Jesus. Can see everything that we've been doing today is all about believing God and faith in God. So put your trust in God, not measuring Him by the physical things that you can see. And God used His words to take us to Abraham, how He believed God, no matter what He could not see. And the Lord perfected His word in His life. As we obey the word of the Lord, may his word be a fruit in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's be on our feet. As we are going to hear the word of God, be on your feet. Open your mouth and begin to talk to God and this morning. Whatever that is making me to be cold, whatever that is making me to be weak or weary before his presence, let it be taken away. Let my heart be open to receive His word. It is the word of God that will change your life. It is the word of God that is going to plant the seed of faith in you. It is through hearing His word that your life can be changed. The word that transforms. The word that can rejuvenate your spirit. Open your mouth and begin to speak to God now. So Father, I am here in your presence. It is time for you to visit my page. The page that is going to transform me. The page that is going to cause revival in my life. Lord, speak to me as an individual. Speak to us collectively through your word. Father, open me willing something that is going to change us. And because of my prayer, I want you to put the man of God. In prayer, I say, Father, use him as an instrument to change me and retrieve whatever the enemy has stolen from me. 
the omnipresent present. The omnipresent presence is presently present in the present of those who are presently present in his presence. Amen. Amen. That when you come in the presence of God, you are going with the present. If you can be present in the presence of God, you are going with the present. Why am I moving in this direction? I keep on saying it. Once you come before the presence of God, make yourself happy. No matter whatever that may trouble your heart. The Bible in the book of John 14 said, let your heart not be troubled. Amen. Amen. For in my father's hand there are many mansions. Let your heart not be troubled. There are things you will see. You stop getting worried. When you go to many hospitals and see people eating through their eating through or drinking water from a pipe. Having all manner of injections put together in their body system, you will come back home with nothing but to glorify God. I want to make it clear to us all. If you go to the several quarters, if you are able to go to the several quarters and see how talented men and women are, you go back home with tears. I'm telling you what I'm very sure of. For example, if you go to where they kept, uh, they keep uh, le lepers, that is the leprosy center, you'll be shocked with your life. How? There you see the chaos engineers. You know this if you have been there, but if you have not been there, you are hearing it now. Here you see people who are talented. When they're sick, you fall under anointing. Make your research. Here you see people, oh God, who carry the Bible open as in they don't need to open the Bible. I'm telling you. Here you see, oh God. When you go there, you begin to ask yourself a question. Why is it? Okay, when you talk about, okay, let us forget about talent aspect, gifting aspect, scale aspect, because already there you see many scales in the several quarters or center. Now let us talk about physical beauty. You go there, you notice that you are not handsome. <laughs> you see people who are more handsome than you, just that they lost their hands, either accidentally or Oh yes. In accidentally or mistakenly. So why am I saying this? When you come before the presence of God, be happy. For example, if you are a lady, you are thinking, oh, <laughs> one of our sisters normally puts something like that. I keep still laughing sometimes. If I may look in the house. I will watch, I will laugh. If you are a lady and you are totally single and you are thinking, God will, God will. Though it's a good idea to take and to ask God question, to pray about it. But I want to point out something. There are individuals, there are some women who married for like 10, 15 years, no issue. There are some who marry after five years, they divorce under critical condition because they marry a cheat. I feel like talking to somebody this morning. Amen. Amen. There are people in their status quo, in the mess they find themselves in. They keep on suffering. The other day I saw one woman who was crying online. Asking people to start begging her husband not to crash or to stop her from Facebooking because of her page is already monetized 
and the high is now every morning from there, just a few months, the husband is telling her to stop, completely stop everything. What she labored for years. Now, if you are a lady, a single lady, you are thinking that your marriage, marital life is delayed. Yes, you should be worried about it sometimes, but you should not dwell in it. You should not allow anything to make you believe that you cannot get married anymore. Amen. Amen. Likewise, some men. It is quite true that I always push us so that we push us to the wall so that we can react towards our destiny, towards our life. Yes, it is my duty and my primary uh, assignment to push us to the wall through the message, through the talk, power talk, so that we can bounce back and react good. Oh yes. But do not be desperate. To get anything, but diligently pursue that thing you are looking for. For example, if you are a man, you are you are desperate to get married, sharpa sharpa is good. But if you are not careful enough, you will fall into the hand of the leader. I know what that means. Time will fail me to go and start elaborating what he never can do. The what he did to Samson is just a minor issue. Are you aware? Oh God, I feel like talking this morning. There are this video I traveled into, and after watching it, I was somehow emotionally down from time that a side chick destroyed the whole family dead not useless them as in it's only one guy that escaped father mother siblings only one guy escaped i'm going to make a strong video about it and post it what side chick can do. What they can do as long as evil is concerned, what side chick can do negatively does not exist. What side chicks cannot do negatively, negatively does not exist. That's to say they can go extra mile to do anything. All information may change, may not. Amen. When we read, as a Bible reading, when you begin to evaluate that place, it's talking about faith and deed. Faith in action. Faith that can bear fruit. We all yesterday here this morning have faith of a truth. Because if we don't have faith, we will not be here. But Bible, the book of James, chapter 2 now, is making it clear that faith differs. There are faith, just like we talk about prayer, there are prayer that is just normal, thanking God, and there are prayer that moves mountains. Started in a Britain telling us what faith can do. I love what he said in the um, I think that was to exist for us. For as as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without what is dead also. Then there's something I want you to pick in verse 25. Likewise, also was right up. The hand of justified by works. Not to massage your ego and not to encourage you for the negative stuff. But I want to tell you no matter how sinful someone may be, there is something that person may do 
and it will wipe up the record of that sin. At least you know I'm standing at the altar, so there's no way I can fabricate or try to play nonsense. Oh yes. Remember, before saying it, I say it's not to encourage you to do bad and then say I will do this and no. But to tell you, because the condemnation that the devil is using against we Christians today is bringing guilty, guilty, guilty conscience. Look at Rehan. I know when Rehan was a pro. You know what I mean? Amen. Once we are life, there are things I may not be able to say like that because of some, uh, Facebook guidelines and all that. Amen. Amen. Rehab was a street woman. And uh, even at that, she gave birth. They had children and all that. But the deed, what she did, was accounted to her was what made her to be hard today. Rehab. Talk when you talk about Jephthah, who was born by this woman, a street woman. Amen. Amen. But I just want to let us know that all this is based on the word grace. When you go through the Bible reading again, you pick where the Bible say, Had can my beloved brethren have not God chosen the poor? Verse 5. All this world rich in faith and has a kingdom which he has promised to them that love him. Verse 6. But ye have despised the poor. Do not, do not rich men oppress you. And draw you before the judgment seat. Verse 7. Do not, do not be blaspheme, blaspheme that worthy, that worthy name by the which ye are called. That is, they are blaspheming the worthy name that is the name of Jesus. Verse 8. If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Ye do well. If you can fulfill this royal Except verse 9, but ye have respected respect to a person, ye commit sin and are convinced of the law as transgression. Verse 10, for whoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend one point, he is guilty of all. 11, for he that said, do not commit adultery. Said also, do not kill. Now, if thou commit adultery, yea, if thou kill, thou art become transgression of the law. Some people will say, I don't do this, I don't do this. But the moment you fell from one commandment, you have all. What is it that James is telling us? Is for us to look into our life. The reading is telling us to look into our life. The Bible reading is telling us to look into our life, our conduct. I keep on reminding us, this is the time of late when you can ponder, where you can reflect, where you can look into your life, you can search your life. The Bible says, can we be to where can we well say and allow grace to abound? Look into your life, search your life, and know the area where you need to make a hand. Your conversation, what are the things scaring people away from you? Amen. Amen. What are the things scaring people away from you? The way you talk, the manner you talk, the way you do things. You are an aggressive type. The sadists. There are people who are sadists. You never see laughter in their face. They keep on frowning. From Monday to Saturday, you see they are frowning. You do something with them, that thing will crash. Because they have a bitter heart. 
Amen. Amen. Are you aware that there are some certain things that will draw you from making progress in life? Now that I keep on sounding and sounding and sounding at us, if there is there's something we normally pray. Father, any blood crying out against me, silence it with the blood of Jesus. Yes, it has been some prayer pattern. But on the second thought, after some deep studies, I noticed that there are some blood crying out against some individual seeking their rights. That to say, those blood have something they want to avenge. Amen. Amen. Whether you are new in the country or whether you have been here for so long, it is high time you begin to flash back in your memory. It is high time you begin to look closely in your life and begin to ask questions. Some people impregnated a village and run away. Some impregnated a lady back home and run away without letting the lady know. Some impregnated a lady and gave her money for abortion. Some engaged in conjugal with a married woman and gave her money for abortion. Some engage in incest. You know what it means? Yes. Someone sleeping with his sister because of too much exhibition of love. Oh, my sister. Oh, my sweet sister. Oh, my darling sister. Oh, my pumping sister. Before you know it, the devil will come in and tell you that you need to test her before any other man. Some men sleep with their daughter. When you check critically well, you understand at some point some men have slept with their fellow. Are these put together and bringing a strong road up in their wrestling? This has made so many people to have financial. I'll still come to a larger teaching about it. But I want to point out the reason why you, as an individual, you need a nose cleansing. So when I come in to oversee, they took the money that belongs to their mother without their mother's consent. And the woman will be looking for it. You tell yourself, once I make money, I will pay her double and double. But as you know that he has, she has spoken a word against any one that took money. I don't know where someone can be under the cause, a parental cause, without him knowing. Amen. Amen. the third month, a unique month. And that is why I'm unveiling these things. These things are problem that has caged so many people. It has caged so many people. And the worst of it all is that I keep on saying it before this altar always. The moment you went ahead and have intimacy. You know what I mean now. I have intimacy with a certain lady who are roaming around. There's a tendency of you contacting a spirit of slow progress. Because 
please know what I'm saying. Any lady that moves around sleeping with men contact different spirits. And when you sleep with that woman, you contact the whole similar spirit that she carries around. And when those spirits begin to attack you, put together with village people and family causes, and the, the one you committed, put together, your finance will crash. You be searching, you don't know where to start. You don't know who is fighting you anymore. That was why I raised an alarm some time ago. That was last year or last two years or thereabout. When certain people will call one lady and they will be like nine men. This one will go, the other one will go, the other one will go, the other one will go. They keep on repeating. Another week again, they will call one lady, the lady will come. And that, and that, they will be going one by one, one by one, as if they are fetching water. I raised an alarm. Many, many of them hated me for that. I raised an alarm. I told them that is the height of it. That that can destroy someone intergenerationally. But whether you believe it or not, this one will go. He said, okay, I'm done. This one will go. He said, okay, another week again, they will come. Call another person again. The person will come. But there will be no way that person. I bought a sonia, but I won't be able to say, the lady could not condone the lady. The first experience was, okay, I will get that. The TVC could do, but only get to that place. Because when I get to that place, I know my boss. And that is why many people hate me in because I'm the voice of truth. But I want to tell you something. Today is our Lord's service. If you are a firstborn, hear me and hear me well in this service. Firstborn, either a son or a daughter, as in you are the first person that come out of your mother's womb. Please, you have a serious prayer and task. Very important. If you are joking with your life, it is very, very dangerous. I'm aware that you have a God's mandate with you to liberate that family. First son, first daughter, first person that come out. I know that sometimes God has a mandate with last born, yes. Because if the people in the family want to suppress it, God will now use him in the other way around or use her in the other way around to make sure that he accomplish a great deal. But I'm speaking to those who are first in their family. You are first, you are joking. You are still joking with your Amen. 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 I know that sometimes there are some message you hear, it will trigger you to take some things. Those days in your school time, can you think deep and see if you have soiled your hand with anything blood? I see blood crying out. I see blood crying out. Blood is crying out. And that is why I keep on saying this. Even here in the Philippines, I'm not trying to encourage you, but talk about man Amara, I don't even pray.
Because those children will be crying. I've been asking God, what is it that some prayer, some people? I'll pray for two, three persons. One person will come, shout it, man of God, something has happened. Other ones are not ask struggle, not struggle, not struggle, not struggle. This guy, I remember, that lived in Baguio many time, many years ago. I think that was the time I came to 2019. All through lockdown 20, he keep on communicating me. 2021, January, he came to my place. We ironed so many things out. We pray no man prayer, nothing happened. I she me no matter of listen, nothing happened. I told him to go. Well, and I begin to search with his name what the course is all about. Until I begin to see line up of children crying out against him. I called him. I said, have you in life engaged in so and so then? He began to give me, in fact, he was so smart to still have the names of those who he dispatched by force. That is where we started a believer and go chawa. You that sit here, not by saying, hmm, hey, you know, hey, begin to. How many people in your record can you flash back and see? How many people you dispatch in the by force, by three? And after you are dreaming to marry a virgin. Can you flash back and detail if there is someone whom you tricked and pregnant on this virgin on the particular week you want to come to manage to do Philippines? That time, that particular week, we made some forty. We go only to buy a china. When you hear the truth, you know the truth. When you, because this is not my message anyway. But we are going to pray and anoint ourselves. But I'm telling us, this is a new mood. There are message you need to get on every new mood for you to be adjust. But that's why you know you need a watch. And I have never seen the truth in my sin. Are you aware that why man to the center man? The church will still say the center man. Do you know why? Do you know why Bible will repeat something three times? Very good, very nice set up for you. Do you know why the reputation of some ways is because the heart of man is so thick to penetrate? That is why on every song I keep on ringing the bell of sanctity and sanity. Without it, we can't go far. Amen. Amen. Our message today is talking about something. God's appearance on the dead. That is the God's appearance on the dead. You know, this is the third foot of the year. God's appearance on the dead. Once upon a time, God said to Moses, prepare them, the first and the second, the third day to wash their clothes and be ready. On the third day, I will manifest. March is a third month. March has a lot to do with Trinity. Amen? Amen. I want to tell us something, brethren. Testimony is a provocation. Testimony is a provocation for more manifestation. Take it. Testimony is a provocation for more manifestation of expectations. Most of us don't know what is testimony. You don't testify. The more you hold your testimony, the more you hold your testimony, right? It the more you tight yourself down. Amen. Amen. In the book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 44, you will see that information. Also, Mark 2 8. It carries this information. It said, Go and show yourself the priest. Mark chapter 1, verse 44. 
Go and show yourself to the priest. And fulfill your view. Go and say to the priest. And then fulfill your vow. It is very easy for us to pray and say, God, if you bless me, I will buy land in the Philippines and single handedly build the that jello. Any place in Nigeria and build a clear church single handed. But it is very hard when that blessing comes. The person will now begin to list out how many of his brother he wants to start business with, how many of his siblings they want to settle, how many of his in laws they want to settle. You know, remember God again. And the was still that I'm going to ish, or that's a chance I'm going to all that struggle with the before when they go again. That is what is holding most people. The promise you made you have not fulfilled. The vow you made you have not fulfilled. Once upon a time, I, I, I remember praying for massive people that came out here so that the vow they make, the oath they take, vow they take before God while praying will not be a channel to hold their prayer answer. I pray yet, even at that, it still affects some people. Why? Because some have gotten the money to redeem a lot of vows, pledges, but they are unable to do that. Let me bring your mind and your memory where we left to this place. While we are there, there are people who made some play during church rental. I have the whole papers and everything intact with me. Both small, small paper there is still in my office. You see, they are left here. They have not redeemed it. Director over there. And the last three, last three years, you see that of people who are not redeemed. When we are related from here, here to here, you still see them who have not, people who have not done it. Not they have not gotten the money. And when you sometimes you begin to calculate it when we are using fundraising and all that, oh the money is big enough, oh the, you will not even know that after each fundraising, maybe sometimes half of those who came out are those who redeem it. Once upon a time I try sending message for some people who are not redeemed their plate one certain time. The result I saw was a big slap and I stopped it. Now, when I have asked for the stop from my now, of this place, you know, I have one company. They say it's somewhere, and the way you are using book, you are using book, it's the most, not a man, or a most. Even in your closes, at the close of your door, or a man, it will only take little time, information, and then, and share, and that's why you did the dangerous. When I saw that result, I stepped down. I stopped. Now, we only went back. Oh, we did fine. I think by the way, they are not. And they are quiet. I said, no mistake. Now, catch a guy up. That's what's up. Amen. So, what I'm saying this is check yourself. I want to marry you. At the end of the day, you did not marry that person. Maybe now you are a married man. Check if there is someone, a lady, that you promised to marry, and at the end of the day, you did not marry her. And today, your marriage is shaking. Your marriage is having serious problem. Check very well. It could be that a certain lady is crying out. She didn't go to any baba. Her tears alone can cripple you. Hmm. The former gave me this. Amen. 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 Check very well. Are you that are single? Don't promise anyhow. If you are a man, don't promise marriage anyhow. If you are a man, don't promise marriage anyhow. I 
repeat myself. If you are a man, don't promise marriage anyhow. Yes, sir. Women are moved by what they hear. When they hear, I love I want to marry you. Oh, no, but they do everywhere so. Yes, sir. You must evaluate and make sure that you have, you have, you have gone through some few chapters of that lady before you make promise of marriage. Make sure you see few chapters. You cannot see the whole chapters because you are not yet married to her. You can only see few chapters. Few chapters, just few characters. Then you evaluate. Amen. Amen. You cannot because women are mysterious. Women have millions of chapters and verses. It cannot be able to unfold in one hour. It took 10 years to build a strong relationship. So, you can't tell me that I have grown up. She, she's that. You are only flowing with the chapter you are reading at that moment. So, married, get ready to you. Genesis is not the same with, the, with Exodus. You see how Bible was placed. Then when you get to Revelation, you become cold of yourself. The whole fantasy and enjoyment you have been reading in the Bible, get to Revelation, as you will have woken on, because ever and not women. That is how life of a woman is. It is when you are able to endure that part, you become a giant in marriage. When I see some people who marry two years, three years, they are galvanic, not much higher. They say that they social media match. They have not seen anything yet. Not as if we are wishing anybody bad, but marriage, mariology, is very deep. The genealogy of mariology is deeper than what you can think about. That to say, why do I engage in this aspect? If you are a man, don't promise a lady marriage. If you are a woman, because men are moved by what they see. If you are a woman, don't for any reason expose yourself to a man for any reason. Because if you do, and he, he must be moved, and when he is moved, something you may regret later may happen. It is too well advised. Men, be careful what you tell a lady. Lady, be careful how you expose yourself to a man. Yeah. Amen. The earlier you know this, the better. So I have talked about you, testify from now, make it as a point of it. Testify what God did in your life. Peculiar, we are not giving testimony. I want to tell you, for it, we are not giving testimony. God is blessing, not always guy that I'm at you there, but you are just spend the man at this church. Go now. Maybe you can be around for a job that way. How can I have to work very soon? I have to see you. But you say, man. Prophecies I gave out to new people that was last year or last year, it has started happening from that day one, and they know it. You that are here, because I believe in the grace upon this altar, I am still telling you whether you are coming here today for the first time or you have been coming, I am telling you that the code in this kingdom is still testifying. When you testify, God will be magnified. When God is magnified, He will suffer. When he is mad, open your mind. Stop hiding what God did for you. Makanonya awo, onya awo. Yeah. I have not bad thing, but at least testify. In our road, you need to go. The one that is due for God, keep. Not always you go to keep to see the public to say, Are you doing it? No. In the case, you know, the money and go change. That is a cause of financial slowness. So, uh, financial 
financial slowness now because ungratitude attitude free yourself no matter how hard things may appear to you free yourself open up yourself testify do the needful and God will be praised amen, amen. number three is a powerful number in the book of Exodus chapter 19 the Bible recorded Exodus 19 verse number 1 and it says uh huh Exodus 19 from 1 in the third month when the children of Israel were gone forth out of the land of Egypt, the same day came they into the wilderness of Sinai. For they we had departed from Rehobim, and we had come to the desert of Sinai, and had pitched in the wilderness. And there Israel came before the mount. And Moses went up unto God. And the Lord came unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shalt thou say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel, Ye have seen what I did in unto the Egyptians, and how I bear you on eagles, on eagles' wing, and brought you unto myself. Now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my commandments, then shall ye be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. Sports. You shall be a peculiar people. Amen. It is by obedience you can have access. Obedience guarantees access. Amen. Amen. I want to, to read first to me, read first uh, Second Chronicle 15 10. Second Chronicle 15 10. We are talking about the third month. Second Chronicle 15 10. Yeah. So they gathered themselves together at Jerusalem in the third month, in the fifth, 15th. Year of the reign of Asa, eleven, and they offered unto the Lord at the same time of the spoil which they had brought, and seven hundred oxen, and seven thousand sheep. Twelve, and they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord, God of their father, fathers with their heart and with all their soul. Stop there. They gathered in Jerusalem, right? And they offered unto God. And he said on the third month, right? Then the says of God for Echo 31 verse 7. Uh-huh. 
wait, you are going to read it with mic so that we hear it very well. Of the third month. Uh -huh. The month of Saiba. Uh -huh. For the guy called the king's secretary. Uh -huh. And the dictated letters to the Jews and the governors. Yes. Administrators and officials of all the provinces uh -huh. from India to Ethiopia. Uh -huh. The letters were written to each province in its own language uh -huh. and system of writing. And to the Jews in their language and system of writing. Uh -huh. Stop there. We are declaring, stand up and declare, we are declaring that from now, any environment, any province, any country that has to do with our upliftment, we are connecting ourselves to them, to men and women that matters. We are commanding that as many that are destined to be our helpers, to make sure that we smile and celebrate in this world and beyond, we command them to be connected to us. We command them to be connected to us. We command them to be connected to us. In the name of Jesus. Yes, in the In the book of Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27, the Bible said that by the reason of anointing, you shall be broken. There's a place I would like us to reach and then engage in a mountain's program prayer now. Ecclesiastic chapter 9 from verse 8. Ecclesiastic. I want to show you the importance of this anointing we are doing every month. I want to show you in the Bible the importance of it so that you will not take it for granted. Ecclesiastic, are you there? Yes. Chapter 9, verse 8. It says, Always look happy and cheerful. Uh -huh. That is what I just said in the beginning of the service. Enjoy life with the one you love. Uh -huh. As long as you live the useless, as long as you live the useless life that God has given you in this world, enjoy every useless day of peace. Yeah. Because that is all you will get from all your trouble. Work hard at whatever you do, because there will be no action, no thought. Which verse are you reading? Ecclesiastes 9, yeah. or verse number 8. Yes. Let thy garments be always white, and let thy head have no white Yes. Repeat it again. Let thy garment be always white, and let thy head lack no ointment. Read that past nine for me, let me hear. Live joyfully with the wife whom thou thou lovest all the days of thy life of thy vanity, which he has given this thee under the sun. All the days of thy humanity, for that is thy portion in the, this life and in the labor which thou takest under the sun. Amen. You know, our sister's passion twist its song now. Amen. Amen. What I want to pick up there is, is said that let thy garment always be white, let thy head lack no ointment. Your garment be white in spirit. Purity. You being clean in and out. Then your head is physical head, physical head, not spiritual head, physical head, lack no oil. When you touch oil in the physical head, it smoothens it physically and spiritually it makes things easier. Oil has a lot of power to soften something. The, something that is rotten, touching oil, it will be nice. 
Any place oil is, things changes. In this country, like oil now, everybody will be running a task later. Oil is very important. It makes a lot of meaning. Just like body cream. You see, some of most of us who are not using body cream. <laughs> when you see someone who is not using it at all, that person looks always tatada haka. This one is the answer, right? And some people will say, man of almost everybody. Amen. At least, I'm not talking of glory, toiling, and all that. There is the one that will suit your body. I myself, I'm using the one that I'm making myself. The fever oil I'm making is the one I'm using. No other. The man. Uh -huh. So, you need the oil constant. Why am I saying this? You need constant anointing upon your life. You need constant anointing upon your life. Sometimes you pray and anoint yourself in your house. Sometimes you anoint yourself, leave it for some minutes before you take your shower. Both men and women, everyone is, is in need of this. So that we engage in need every Sunday, every first Sunday of the world, is for us to activate good things. And there are things that normally tell us every first Sunday. And after our prayers and everything, go home and give us something. That is why over here we are doing first fruit. On every Sunday we do first fruit. Every first Sunday. In the book of Romans, in the book of Leviticus, in Numbers, Proverbs, Proverbs say, honor the Lord with your wealth and your first fruit. All these things we are doing in market in the Bible realm. The only that we normally apply, the first fruits that we normally do, all of them has their place in the Bible. So what I'm saying, in this summit today, two things need to be done. One, you need to be anointed for excellency. You need to be anointed for greatness. You need to be anointed for testimony. You need to be anointed for what you've done. You need to be anointed for divine session. And then you need to be anointed to become the one that can destroy any enemy that will rise against you. We have come again, Lord. This is another hour. This is another opportunity for you to move and do mighty things. Father, we have come because it is written in a moment such as this that your spirit, your power will move mightily. Except on that day, the miracle working God. Father, we hear again this moment and we call upon your name. And to now, Father, have your way. I'm standing between you, O oh God, and your children who are gathered here. And I preach mercy upon everyone here. I preach mercy upon everybody here. I decree and I declare that mercy will begin to reign supreme at this moment. Find that let no sin, let no condemnation, let no allegation and accusation. Find that be able to stand before anyone in this service. I pray, O oh God. of your higher grace, O oh God. Father, upon their lives, upon their destiny, upon their family. Father, I decree, O oh God, at this hour, let there be a move of your supernatural power. Let there be a move of an encounter again, O oh God, to will. Father, behold, this is a new moon, and this is the first Sunday. Let there be the fifth of this moon. I am taking the word grace, the growth the world. I am calling the world mercy. I am calling the five letter world. I begin to pray into God upon your children in this house. I begin to command. Let there be a move of God. Let there be a turn around. I command heaven. I demand heaven to bring forth of God. All in terms of us will be successful. I am demanding. I am demanding. That heaven should open up. That heaven should open up. Father, in this service, Lord, I believe you. I cannot doubt you. I know that you are the doer of good. But I know that you have come to do my territory. We are gathered to call this moment. We are here this moment to call. Let's change on the days, Emmanuel. That be that to work in God. Arise, my father. Arise, Emmanuel. Father, open doors. Open that doors and windows. Open that 
please, some of you who want to go this year, you really want to go this year, come before the altar. You want to go this year, come before the altar. And I begin to speak. It is by grace, not by power. You see what you need to do? As we are praying the prayer, whatever that is right inside your heart, you put your hand in the pocket, you bring it out, you begin to speak. That is the deal that will see. You bring it out, you begin to talk. Try and make sure that it's five digits up. That to say five digits up. Today is fifth. Anything that has to do with five. Be it five pieces. Be it five, one piece. Whatever that has to do with five. They stand for grace. And I begin to prophesy by the mandate of heaven. I begin to speak by the mandate of heaven. I begin to prophesy by the mandate of heaven.
I don't know who that person is, but there is someone, a lady whom you have already engaged. That lady is planning a for this. The second time this type of message is coming this year on this altar. Someone you love, you want to marry, want to kill you. You have engaged her. It's open that you want to marry her. So, it's an open message. And I pray that such lady, not that she will die, but she will be confused to carry out that mission. Amen. And as for the man involved, what you need now is carefulness. I pray for the grace for you to control some things to know who that lady really is. May this grace to detect, may this grace to know, let it come upon you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Before we go into the we have our first food to observe and then we are landing up. You know, our coming late is making us to close late. I think almost all the time we are starting our office by 10. Oh yes. So when you invite it, you see what is happening. Please. I want Stanley. Stanley. Come. Even as we are preparing, if you have anything to do your first fruit with, you come to the altar while I settle the issue with Stanley. Those who have their first fruit offering, you come to the altar with it. And after this service, as I normally say, try and send something to either your mother or your father or your wife. Amen. Please, this is very important. It's very important. I keep on saying it here. I didn't tell you to give me. Try send to your mother, your father, or your wife. Even if it is 1,009. Very important. Please. What the back. Thank you.
I said, it's the time for our first fruit. Come forward for that. If you are ready to do that, come forward. For that. If you really understand what is first fruit, do not hesitate. Do not even allow without me to preach it or teach about it. Come forward if you want to engage. First fruit is something you are doing to activate a financial connection in that month. If you don't know, do it now. If I were you, I would just happily come for it. Father, I begin to pray upon your children who are here this minute. Father, O oh Lord, to activate a higher grace from this altar in this new month. Lord, as they are doing this, from this minute, from this minute, at this second today, from this second, I am commanding. Please, if you are not with your handset, take it along. I want to see it. Open it. Open it. Let us exercise power now. If you are standing here, open that your handset. Let us exercise power. I begin to speak with authority. I disengage anything that has to do with bad news. I come against every bad news. I come against every bad news. And I decree that this phone will connect you to greater heights. I command, let it connect you to the greater height. From now henceforth, let there be a turning point. Let doors and windows be made open for you. May God show you for what in Jesus' name we pray.
Alléluia. Bon, before they finish up, uh, get, get ready and prepare. Let's get 